De La Wright, my envies. Welcome. Take care of Kadenikawo. All, you know, the gods will fight you so much. If anything goes wrong or anything happens to Tadenikawo, all, Queen Naomi, Iyanifa, you know, um, um, won the Oni of Ife over what is going on in the palace that um, the Oni of Ife needs to make hay while the um, sun shine, that shines that he has taken too much time in making this decision that he ought to have made a long time ago. That God forbid to fear Akwa or nay, may, may, hey, God not go ever agree that nothing is going to come close to Tadenikawu. But if Oni of Ife will allow one string of hair out of the body of Tadenikawu that the gods will fight him down and bring him down from that throne. That he needs to pay attention to Tadenikawu and take care of the mother of Tadenikawu or else he incurs the rod of the gods. Uh -huh. Who is Yanifa? Um, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, if I or yeah, if I, sorry if I'm not pronouncing that name well. They said is the custodian of Oshun um, um, deity, the one they brought from Angola, one of the best in the um, in far religion that you know helps to take you know um, Oshun the deity, the uh, Oshun. They said basically what that uh, the god um, does is to protect community, pro protect his people. People protect their properties and protect everything. And so because of the return of Kinami into the palace, Oni of Ife has decided to bring two best of the best to join the Ifa priests in the palace to ensure that no matter how far the Loris would go, that nothing in this world will make them succeed to ruin this event of Kinami's return into the palace of the Oni of Ife. Now, they said that they have put modalities in place. The fires are in place. They are seeing everything. They are opening um, um, uh, canker worms and removing them and killing them. And, you know, there is a whole lot that is going on right now in the palace of the Oni of Ife because the women are very adamant. They are not ready to let go. They are ready to ensure that that event is ruined. Queen Ami doesn't return into the palace of the Oni of Ife. And because the only realizes that this woman will go to whatever land to ensure that that happens, the only decided to go and bring these um, 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 people, custodian of several deities, to be in the palace to monitor events for him. As it is alleged, as it is rumored, as it is reported, as it is no be me to come lay. Welcome back to my channel, this is your girl Dolorama. I bring you fresh and spicy just from the sauces still on the royals. How are you guys doing? I appreciate you love us. I thank you, Dela Right. I, I love you. Thank you for being here. If I know, if I know, if I know, I appreciate when I'm waiting again, there is no Dela Ram channel without you, please. I want you to bear that in mind, okay? And more so. Do understand that Dele Ram doesn't live in the palace of the Oni of Ife, and neither am I related to them or related to anyone who is related to anyone who is related to them. I am just a blogger. Whatever I get, I bring it here, I reenact it, and I post. And um, I want you to bear that in mind, and I will add also that whatever you get on social media, you want to take it with a pinch of salt. I appreciate you guys so much. It's not a small thing, oh, this is young Ifa, this new um, group of um, Ifa, you know, priests that they brought to the palace right now, they said the woman, the female, has advice on it of Ifa to take care of Tadenikawa and to care for Queen Naomi. That if anything goes wrong with those people, that the gods will fight Oni of Ife down and ensure that he pays for everything. That he has taken so long to take action. He has taken so long to do what he's supposed to have done a long time ago. That a lot of things have gone really south in the palace of the Oni of Ife. That the women have overstretched their boundary. And Oni has been there with his eyes open, washing everything that has been going on. Now, if not for the God, if not for the... Um, grace of God that a lot of things would have gone um, bad in the palace of the Oni of Ife. That no matter what happens, no matter the decision he makes, he needs to take care of Tadenikawo and he needs to take care of Queen Naomi. Now, why are they saying this? 
They say Egbere, there's something called Egbere that was that has been released into the palace. And Egbere, if I I'm sorry if I'm not pronouncing that well as um um, um well, uh, it is spelled E R G B E R E. Now, in case you don't understand my pronunciation, it is spelled Echo Gov, Echo Renew, um uh, Echo. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Okay, so right now they said that Egberi has been released into the palace and they released it to activate it to cause problems, to make noises, spiritual noises that will confuse people, their hearts, and for them to begin to think that Quinami is not wanted, Quinami is not wanted. And so that energy will be sent across um, to the spiritual realm and they, they, uh, they'll begin to release an energy that will make that event not to hold. You know, this life is all about, you know, energies, okay? That is why they keep saying that. You should be very careful about the things that you say because whatever you say comes to pass. And most so most things that you think about are the things you say in your life. Anyways, now... Um, um, with uh, these new people who came into the palace, their first assignment, as it is rumored, is to begin to expel Egberi out of the palace. They said they are these short, short beans. They call them bush babies that will be around and they'll be carrying their mats and they'll be crying. That when I was growing up, I never heard that these things used to cause problems. But right now I am hearing that evil people can invoke them and make them cause problems. That they have two types of them. They have the good ones and they have the problematic ones. So when they invoke the problematic ones and give them an assignment, they go ahead and they make that happen. And so they say these people are moving all over, roaming around the palace and to release an energy that will uh, make Queen Naomi's um, event, that, that will confuse everything, that will make sure that does not happen. And so they are expelling them and making sure that whoever is doing this will have him, uh, he, uh, his or herself to blame. Now they also went ahead to say that of of course, it's not just the women, that there are a lot of other forces who do not want Queen Naomi in the palace. And the reason why they do not want Queen Naomi in the palace is not far-fetched. The fact that she is a child of God who is very, very prayerful. One of their biggest problems they have in the palace of the Oni of Ife right now is um, said to be the prayers of Queen Naomi. They are not happy about the fact that Queen Naomi is such a prayerful woman. They feel that Queen Naomi is going to be a complete hindrance to the things they are doing like she used to be when she was in the palace before. And that's the reason why they do not want her back into the palace. But what did I say to you people the other day? God passed them. Dela right, let me hear you guys. God passed them. Dela right, my Dela right, let me hear you guys. God passed them. We will see to this and we will see that Quinami will return into the palace this June by the grace of God. And we will celebrate and she will forge ahead with her life. I'm going to bring you more updates. I appreciate you so much. Thank you.